Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Try, my name is Retromation and this is another farm roguelike Rebirth, a game with a wild name that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. I played another farm roguelike roughly a year and a half ago on the channel, I really liked it. It was sort of this zen simulation farming roguelike and this is the sequel to that game, aiming to be I think a little bit more roguelike, a little bit more replayable. And it seems like it's going to be quite good. So, hey, in we're going to go to see what it's all about. Wow. Okay. In the in the demo, we have a ton of uh, playable characters already. And there's seems to be more. Okay. I mean, I'll just, I'm a left to right gamer. Let's go with the farmer here first. Crop value up for this character. Growth time down. I mean, I'll do a tutorial. At the beginning of every week, you have to choose six daily modifiers. The ones you choose now in the tutorial will not matter. Okay. Tool cost. Each crop yields its own product. Plus one for each item sold. Building, e Finishing a building gives what now? Hello? Excuse me? Uh, why is build? So they don't matter, apparently. Just kind of curious what types of things we have. Bad day, negative boost. All right, let's just uh, go ahead and drag them all up. I'll trust that it's telling the truth that they don't matter for the tutorial. The number in the top right corner shows how much money you have, and the number below it shows how much money you need to pay at the end of the week. The number of orbs indicates the number of weeks you need to survive. Paying for all of the weeks is the main goal of the game. You can navigate the map using Wasad. I'm always a wast, but hey. Errors, okay. Destroy these three breakables. You can choose the tools by clicking one through six, or use the mouse wheel. Okay. Oh, yeah, baby. And gotta hover over it. You better believe it. Use escape to open the interface. Build a furnace. You can find it in the building tab on the right. Okay. What else we got here? Ooh. Hive, small fence, wooden fish trap. I'm just curious. The upgrades. Handyman upgrade. Interesting. 200 bucks to just get building requirements down. Mainly used for smelting ores. If you place a building on the map using the right mouse button, the next building will be ready for placement immediately. Escape to go back and get all of your materials refunded. Now build them using the hammers. That, uh, this one? Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's satisfying. You can move buildings by clicking on them with the right mouse button. So is it, wait, hold on. Is this like when you pick them, it's going like, this is, so one, two, three, four. So there's seven, uh, seven for the week. So gotcha. You're, you're picking basically a boon for a day or a curse for a day. That's really interesting. Actually. I like that a lot. To process items in the building, use tab or the backpack icon at the bottom and select the wood like you just did before. Let's get the wood. Left click on the furnace, insert the wood. The items needed for processing such as coal jar sugar are automatically taken from the backpack. Fill the furnaces with wood. Okay, so it needs wood as well er, as the coal. Gotcha. To finish processing, end the day by clicking the hourglass in the bottom right. The items are collected with right click. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Some items have the word consumable in their description, which means they can be used with the right mouse button. Right click, right click. Okay, we have to right click on the ground. We can't right click on it in our inventory. Interesting. All right, hey. Nice, concise. Okay, for real, I'll be the farmer this time. Survive two weeks. Plains, mountain, jungle, wonderland. So the plains has axe efficiency up. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and get that bad boy. Okay, the question is, where do we want to do it, though, I guess? Tools won't gain experience. Minus five for every point. I feel like that as a final day thing is probably fine for the week. The number of items that drop from breakables goes down. Items will have their lowest value. Crafting requirements going down and then getting five experience uh from the buildings the next day seems logical or wait 
Oh, 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 I see. Building for argument. I think we want to do it in like an order like this. Tool costs down. Is that? Oh, we can't have four. Building requirements, building experience. You know what? Let's do this. If this is just... And then we'll, I guess we chill out. I don't know, man. Energy down. Each crop yields its own product. Plus one for each item sold. The amount of experience that you gain that day goes down by one. Items will have their lowest value. I feel like we just don't sell that stuff. We don't sell stuff on that day, right? General efficiency down. All right. Do we want to do it in that in that way? I think that's fine. Okay. So, tool cost. I'm assuming that's like. Um, so we can we can get the mountain. Pickaxe efficiency up by one, but experience boost down by a hundred percent. Interesting. So what else do we we have the ability to craft? Jar, bottle, string, crafting requirements down. These things are coming in the future. Oh boy. Add diamond ore to the shop. Basic ores to the shop. So you can upgrade the shop. Roll price, shop price, delivery, the number of items in each slot. Okay. Beet seed grows in three days. Pumpkin seed, two days yields one pumpkin. So if the crop value is up by two... Aren't we kind of benefited by um, just getting a bunch of cheap stuff? Grows in one day and yields four. Three days yields eight. But it's also more expensive. This is... This seems really logical. Okay, so we have six for that. Tool cost down. One, two, three, four... Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we have like a watering can? We do indeed. Okay, so that's good. That didn't take too much. So yeah, I want to get ready. So we want to get a lot of stuff to build things on this day. We'll, we'll build a bunch that day and then we will finish building them on this day. So what kind of buildings do we have? Protects crops from crows. Needs wood and some grass. Obviously, there is the furnace. I don't know if I need to do that. Accelerates the growth of crops and will produce honey. Okay, so we're going to want to get a bunch of wood, basically. Is the seems to be the thing. And then this is what? Consumable gain extra energy. We could, we could sell it, but today's like a really efficient day to use our tools up. So let's go for all the ones that have... All the trees that have berries or something like that. This music might make me go a little crazy in the end. And then we can just go... I might regret that, but... Because we can sell it. Can we plant it? Surely we can't just like plant the orange straight up. I mean, maybe we could. Are these going to regrow? Oh, shoot. We can hit that. Will they regrow? Is a good question. Also, how do I sell? That was not... Not in there. I'm assuming I can just... Left mouse button to buy one, right mouse to buy all. Surely I can sell. Left click, right click. Huh. That was not in the tutorial. I'm trying to drag it in here. Drag it off the screen. Right click. It says that it's worth a certain amount of money. So I'd imagine we can sell it. It's not urgent. Ooh, we can sort it by price. We can craft the tools over here. 
looks like maybe when we get to a certain level, then we can upgrade it. We would need copper a copper bar for a higher value one. So we will probably want... Yeah, so tomorrow we're doing building. Tomorrow we're doing some building. Three for eight, two for one. But yeah, theoretically we want to just go for something that is going to be high yield. Doesn't matter that it's going to take a bit. If I need to eat a little bit of apples, we're, we're going to do it. Okay. Where else are we going? We got how much? We got six more. We'll see. Oh, man. I'm going to have to... Oh, it's, I'm going to have to put it in an ugly way. One, two, three, four. Ew. Ew. Five, six. Oh, I hate it. But I can't spend the energy. Okay. want to make sure we can do that. All right. Dunzo. That, I mean, that's a lot of stuff done today, though. It's a lot of stuff done today. No energy. Do we, we don't have enough for anything. Can I... Yeah. All right. Cool. So that's a lot of progress, though. Oh, those jerks. The crows, they ate... We needed the scarecrows, but... I mean, I wasn't going to do it. So today it's efficient to go for buildings. Okay. It's efficient to go for building, but it's efficient to actually build them tomorrow. Okay, so maybe we can't go as ham into that as I wanted, unfortunately. But you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to build one more. We're going to build one today. Then we'll build some other stuff for tomorrow we're, that we will not finish. Okay. I'd like to go ahead and place that. So place this scarecrow. You know, you cover you cover that spot anyway, so it's not actually that big of a deal if we inefficiently place it up a little bit higher. So we need grass. How do I uh how do I get that? Or like fiber or something. Did I get that from just tilling soil? Or breaking down trees? That might have been from breaking down trees. Or maybe it's from bushes? I apparently had some. Curious. Alright. We don't have a bunch of stone... I think let's go ahead and smack this bad boy. Woo! Level up! Picks. We get an extra pick and we get $3,000 whenever we level up. Counter. Max count 45. Charged by using energy and gaining experience. The reward is higher max energy. It's like a quest. Wait, that's actually... That's really good, especially if we go for a bunch of... Finishing off a bunch of stuff tomorrow. Oh, we got more unlocks. Creates rocks, coal, and basic ores. There's like no stone here. There's seriously like no stone here unless I can get it from this too. No. Oh god, that's bad. So that's, and it's already, uh, I'm assuming this already is factored in, it looks like. Uh-oh. Accelerates the growth of crops and will produce honey. Oh, it does it in a in a line. Okay. Would have been good to know as well. But hey, we're, we're learning. Oh, Jesus. That is not good. But we'll do it for later. That will become efficient. Can I unhoe this? 
because I think I'd like to build just a bunch of these in a line. I feel like that makes some sense. Okay, we can't make any more. 13 is what we would need there. Understood. Man. Are we going to be screwed over by, uh, by lack of that? Maybe. Jar, all right. Parsnip. Okay, we, we can sell it from our inventory. Gotcha. Uh, uh, basically, we just want to sell it probably as fast as possible, right? Control right click to sell all. 160 bucks from that. 60 bucks from that. We can sell worms. I think there's, we're going to have to pick a part of the game to not engage with on this run. I think let's not engage with fishing on this run. Okay, so there's coal stone, wood. We could get some more charcoal. Crow feather is used in alchemy. Increase your backpack space. Oh, intelligent upgrade. Just can get an experience boost. Requirement for leveling up down by 10%. I mean, maybe. So this is pretty much safe. I think we're going to go to the shop. We'll buy some more. One day grows four. We really like the parsnips because the low value is fine for us. Four days to yield 10 corn. It costs 15, though. It just... I don't know how much it's going to be worth when it's done. I would imagine... Because the thing is, we have a flat two plus two boost, right? As flower seeds, animals. If we have a flat plus two boost, then what we would need is to um, basically just go all in on getting mass quantities. And that's it. This tile is un untillable. I mean, all right. We should be good to go to plant anything here. I mean, but we don't really have the energy to particularly benefit from that. God dang, man. I guess uh, we should be good to go there. I mean, we're not going to be able to plant all these in this area. Like, in order to do that, we'd have to break this rock, and that's just not happening right now with our current amount of energy. 12 out of 45. Can I eat the worm? Cannot eat the worm. Delivery count. Upgrade shop prices. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that stuff. But roll for 20 feels like a waste. I think that we'll just have to hope that the crows don't, don't come for me. Okay. I think that's the best we can do. Just trying to be efficient with it. Boom. Oh my lord, please. Yeah. I mean, that's that should be everything for the whole day. Uh, and then tomorrow we will finish buildings. We'll finish these buildings. Spend a lot of energy on that, probably. Okay. Yeah, stinking crows. All right. Oh, that is so much. That is a bunch of um, <laughs> five XPs. So we could build more if we really wanted to get quite silly with it. Step one, let's make sure we do this. Let's plant the, the rest of our stuff. One, two, three. And then we'll go from there. One, two, three. Water, water, water. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot already. So what can we build with what we already have? We have seven there. I don't know if we can build anything with what we have. Yeah, that's back up to uh, costing 10. Task. Food processing. A sprinkler to irrigate crops. Oh, baby. That is good, but... 
I don't think I can spend... I mean, 5,000 bucks that we're going to need is going to be pretty hefty. Check our backpack. All right. Control right click to sell all. 336. I mean, it's a huge profit. Tree seed grows in six days. How do we get more rocks? Do we have to go? Do we have to go to the mountain? Experience boost down. Items have the lowest value. We just won't sell anything that day. That's that's easy. An e easy solve. Okay. I think we need to just plant as much stuff as possible. I think we need, need to say screw the other. Malark. I need the space. All right. Let's buy a little bit more. Two days yield six wheat. So the if this speeds things up, accelerates the growth of crops and produces honey. If it speeds things up, I'm assuming that we could maybe we could take like a two day thing and it'll be done in one. Three days for eight beats. Four days for ten corn. One, two, three, four. I don't... The last day, you can collect money before you pay rent. But it's actually going to be probably one, two, three, I'd assume. Let's go. Let's go for it. I mean, it should be completely protected by the... Um, by the Scarecrow, at the very least. So that helps. I mean, I will go for another one there. Anything else is not going to be uh, boosted by the, the bees, but I think that's going to have to be fine. All right. I'm, I'm just going to trust that these are going to really be, be worth it. All right. This is where we put the money beats. Could probably do one more. Maybe. Oh, water it. Don't have an orange or anything. Okay. Well, I mean, it'd be nice to get a sprinkler, but we don't have any stone. I mean, I won't get any stone from, from that either, necessarily, but hey. Oh, well. All right. Done with the day, I think. Anything worth crafting? There's nothing worth crafting right now. The sprinkler sounds great. I really need a mine, but, like, the stinky thing is I can't get it. Are we going to have to... Adds coal to the shop? I don't need coal. I just need... Basic ore? It, it doesn't sound like basic ore or coal to me. I don't know, man. Yeah, we really need it. Okay. Oh, well. What are you going to do? All right, we got some honey. I mean, that's that's useful. The amount of experience that you gain is down. That's okay. That has nothing to do with what we gain from selling. Okay, so beat is worth 4 to 12. So it's worth the, roughly the same amount, but we got like a lot more of it. 288. Ooh, consumable energy too, but I'm going to go for the uh, the sale price there. Wait, is the price underneath what it's going for today? Oh, shoot. I think that that's what it is. The price on the bottom is what it's going for today, and I think we maybe sold it at a, at a trash price. There's definitely some elements that uh, I feel like could have been mentioned from the tutorial. Cute little bee. Interesting. I'm not selling. I'm not selling stone right now, no sir. So yeah, we probably sold at a trash profit. Is uh, my guess. We got our wizard boost. A trash profit is a profit nonetheless, but still, we could have done better. 
Four days yields 10 corn. I'm hoping. Two days, six wheat. Three days, eight beets. Let's go for it. Let's, let's, let's go in. Do we take down this tree? It takes so much energy just to get that extra space, but it's, this is such an efficient spot for all of our, uh, all of our crops. That it's hard to not want to do that. 18. I mean, we're, we're probably just going to go up there and just say no to the, um, efficiency of the beehives for now because otherwise we're gonna have to um, really go absolutely wild we have how many more we have 12 Ugh. i can't click there one two three four five six seven eight uh nine ten eleven twelve i mean We'll, we'll water what we can. Oh, we can get all of it. Watering is actually... It does not take that much. Uh, but yeah, there's obviously other elements of the game we could interact with, but as this character seems like it's most efficient to... Uh, probably going to be most efficient to, believe it or not, farm. Items have their lowest value tomorrow. We are not going to want to uh, to sell. So if we're not going to want to sell, what do we want to do? Tomorrow's probably a good day for like some cleanup, I guess. But we could finish that off. Uh, oops. Just start that and then finish that off tomorrow. Probably probably a good day for cleanup. We could buy the mountain. Ooh. I don't know if I'm making 5,000 bucks at the end of the week if we do this, though. Pickaxe efficiency up. Why would we... Do we have to engage with that part? The, the reason we would have to engage with that is if we wanted to go for sprinklers, which... Would definitely help with some efficiency, but I don't know if I can afford that. Experience boost down by 100%. In Is that just in that area? It's hard to say. Hard to say. All I know is I do not want to sell my crops today. Okay. We got the corn. But I think we might want to... Let's go for beets. I'm more confident we'll get this done. Okay. Alright. Two to beets. Beet seeds. Make sure we get all of it watered. Click, 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 click. Yeah, definitely takes a bunch. What do we have left? We have three seeds left. I can't, um... I could, I guess. It's a lot... A lot of building for that, but I think this is going to be worth it. Okay. It'll be, I mean, it'll be worth it if we survive uh, this kind of, this week. We're setting up really good foundations for a future week in the event that we don't <laughs> cheese it today, basically. Uh, okay. Okay. That's good. Those are safe. There's like a little bit of inconvenient overlap there. Could eat some berries. Got some apple trees back over here. Yeah, everything sells for... Okay, so we've probably been truly selling on a, on a trash day. Tools don't gain experience tomorrow. It's probably fine. The other reason why we would want to build more stuff is to get better efficiency here, which I do want. But I don't have... 
I don't have a lot of copper ore. I guess we have enough for the one. I think that's fine. We don't have any more copper ore anywhere. The beetle hammer. Corn axe. The honey hoe. Oh. Used to dig soil. Hives give plus two honey. What the hell? Wait, are these like randomly selected ones too? The watering can gives you axe efficiency? This is cool. Sorry, I was not expecting this. I was assuming it was just going to be the normal progression. I saw boom, boom, and then I was like, oh, this is gold. No, this is corn. Max energy up. I'm just going to go for that. Yeah, screw it. Used to build water crops in a range of three by one. I feel like I would rather tax efficiency up by two. I think I'd rather save and get the uh, copper watering can tomorrow. I think that's going to be the play. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, no, don't go yet. Man, I was I was not uh, prepared for those. Alright, so wait, which one's my hoe? This one is. Don't have the seeds for that stuff. Could, I guess we could buy a little bit, but... What's it gonna matter? Four days, two days. Two days for one pumpkin. Full backpack. Oh, shoot. Because I don't really want to sell anything. I'll tell you what we'll do. Since, since I can't really sell anything... Let's eat for a little bit of energy. It's probably not very efficient, but I think it's just going to have to be fine. One, two, three. Maybe do two more. One, two. One, two. Yep. All right. Everything is used up. All right, we are... Allowed to sell here. But necess not necessarily is going to definitely be the right call. We have to check. We can't pick that up. Copper bar sells for a lot today. That's an interesting possibility. Corn sells for max. max. Okay. All right. Beet sells for six. Oh, maybe I try and save it. Honey sells for 17. Oh, man. I could sell all my grass. It's selling well today. Uh, gold ore sells for 94. I think I just sell it, actually. I think I maybe... I might end up selling my copper bars, too. Wood I could sell... Nah. Worms are near peak efficiency. I think we're I think we're gonna keep the copper bars until tomorrow too. I feel like that can do better. I feel like we could do better with that. The beets gotta just cross our fingers. What about the parsnips? Was that uh, eight? Oh. Okay, so we can probably do things that grow in two days. By here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What was this? Tools don't gain experience. That's fine. Oh, that is that is efficient. Love that. That works out really, really well. How many did I buy? I bought seven. Oh, shoot. Probably not the right call. At all. Because we can do... One, two, three. Because I don't think we want to build a whole other beehive just to get them to definitely grow. It feels silly. Right? 
I don't know. We do like beehives. 15. Oh, it's going to be too much. We sold, we sold our wood. We sold our wood. That's the pro I I can't. Sand. We'll try and see if we can get that to sell for two before we mess with it. I don't know. I don't know if we waste stuff going for an a beehive. Oh, God. Do we? It's a lot. Eight. I think, I think it's a waste. I think it's a waste, and I think we just sell our seeds back here if we can. We can, but oh, it's... They're not going to grow in time. You know what? We'll we'll put them down for next season. Maybe we'll want to build that up uh, tomorrow. Okay, so let's get anything that grows in one day. There's nothing that grows in a day. Ugh, nothing that grows in a day is a problem. Can we build anything new? I mean, you, cask could be an interesting thing, like maybe making some kind of a product out of our uh, things instead. Could possibly be good. But yeah, whatever we make, it's not selling. So do I re-roll? Do I seriously spend 20 on a reroll to get some more parsnips? I think I do. I think we just go for uh, whatever we can here. Okay. Parsnips. Oh, it's not efficient. Woo! Level up. Growth time minus one. Oh! 25% chance that the breakable will not appear after destruction. Oh, that's kind of nice. After, like, you break a tree, you might have to do not have to do the stunt. Stump. 6% chance to get experience for every energy point spent is really good, but I think I have to go for the good DNA to try and save the urn. Save this run. Okay. So, cause now I can go for, now I can go for two day things. Oh, it, it like, it shows it for us too. That's nice. All right. Anywhere that's within this radius is just good enough by me. So potato matters a little bit less than the like pumpkin seed. You would think we've uh, gotten efficiency out of it by chopping down how long it grows. Potatoes already take one. Okay, so anything else is going to be outside his jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. How much do we have? We have not a whole bunch left. Uh, three. Is it worth? I'll just say yes. Even though the uh, the watering of it is going to make me die of cringe. But hey, just having the three slots. Oh, okay. So that actually, that's a lot there. Oh, God. <laughs> Speaking of die of cringe, I'd never even grab my stuff for the day. Oh, we could have done even better. We still could. Do we have anything we can eat in our inventory? Because we can't eat those. We could eat some honey. Oh, I don't know if that's worth it. I think it's going to have to be, actually. With the, with the beehive ones. Okay. Oh, God, I hate it. I hate what I've done. I hate what I've done. Three days. I don't know if we can do with the three days. Can we? Because that's 
Ah, it's not the minus one. Give me, give me some two days. Two days would be peak efficiency. Okay. I guess I could preemptively do that. Yeah, we're definitely good. So we can get three more things. Let's go for the pumpkins, I suppose. All right. One more. Do we get the ability? Can we? Uh, can we water this? We can water it. Okay. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Give me a freaking. We could. I guess we could just do parsnip. I think wheat was normally a two day, so it should should be more efficient. All right. Jeez, man. Okay. I'm hoping that this uh, the mountain of crops that we're sitting on is going to really have. Uh, it's got to be better than eight tomorrow, right? Can sell the worms. I think they're at a pretty good price. Might as well sell the wood. I almost might as well sell this stone. Like, it's just... We are at risk of, uh... Of not making quota tomorrow. It says this is the last day where we are allowed... To... Oh, this is beautiful to look at. Oh, it's... Oh, it's beautiful to look at. Okay, that was a lot of stress for this. It better be freaking worth it. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. 22. Six! Oh, we've been had. The wheat at least sells for a whole bunch. Potatoes, fine. Parsnip's good. Sand sells for double today. Oh, we've been absolutely had by the parsnips. Okay, I don't... Okay, I'm not I'm not selling my beets. I'm not selling my beets. No, sir. Not selling them today. We have 320 beets that I'm not selling them for six bucks. You out of your dang mind? Okay, so what do we... What do we do then? I think we, uh, we just get prepped up for the next day then. These are my... Obviously, like, my most efficient spots... We are going to need to go to the mountain um, in the next week. Oh, God. I just looked at the time. Oh, it's so easy to lose lots of time playing this game. Uh-oh. So we don't care now. Now we now we just want to go for whatever. I feel like beats are probably the best for us right now, though. At least th their beats are the best thing to plant uh, by our beehives. Okay, so it's not retroactive, unfortunate. Uh, just don't go under 5,000. Don't go under 5,000. Get as close to being under 5,000 without going under 5,000 as possible. That's going to be the play. Okay, so we have five more. Just put on six because... We're definitely going to do it. It's just very efficient to water it like that. Okay. I'm watching. I'm watching. Okay. Corn is, corn is probably good. Let's go for... I guess we could like... It just doesn't really matter here. How much do we have? We have five. We could buy one more thing. Let's buy a pumpkin seed. That's cutting it so freaking close. It's stressing me out. All right. Now, what do we do? We might as well, like... Might as well clean up some stuff. For, like, our, our next season, I suppose. It takes a lot of energy to clean that stuff up. Whew. 
Whew. We've done it. <laughs> I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. I don't even... I don't know what to do with this other one. I just see that we have probably enough energy. We don't even have enough energy to do that. All right. So we're good to go. We, we push it as close as we can there. We get a whole new set. Building requirements down. Animals give times two. Items have their top value. Let's go. 15% chance that the breakables won't disappear after destruction. Shop price is down. Roll price down. Delivery count minus four. 25% of your animals die? I'll tell you what. We can have that right here and just not buy any animals. How about that? Harvest boosts equal... We're not going for that. Minus 50% for crafted. I think we can just not do crafting stuff there. Experience boost. All right. Oh, man. I wish that it... I wish that it hadn't been... Uh, it hasn't been 46 minutes, man. I could... I feel like I could get absolutely trapped in the uh, the, the z -z 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 Zen zone. 80,000. All right. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that. But here's the mother load. Oh, $6,600. Ooh. That's enough for a guy to buy a freaking mountain. So I guess my question is, for the stuff in this zone, is it just in the zone we don't get the experience? Yes, it's just in the zone. This is for science once more. Gotcha. Okay, so chopping down a tree over here. Gain experience. Okay. That's really interesting. God, this this is such a vast improvement over the first game. The first game was really, like, fun and solid. Man, items have their top value today. It's, it's just nuts. So, like, now that we are, are over that hump there, it'd be like, okay, well, what would I want to do? Sprinkler to irrigate crops. Ooh. Efficient. How much wood did we have? We have 43. So this covers... That. We want to... I guess what? Chop down another? Because that covers that ground pretty darn well. We'd want to... Uh, we'd want to make another on this side. Oh. Efficiency. Absolute peak efficiency there. Holy... It is annoying how, like, you can't really be too optimal, like... We can't build two on top of each other, so we'd want this to be just like our our farming zone, I suppose. But it's also axe efficiency in this area, so chopping down trees over here is way less efficient. All right, chill, chill, chill. Just seeing what we are... Hold on. Hold on. Does it... Does it completely water it? When does it... When does it water it? It might not water on day one. It might not water it on day one. We can leave one for science, I guess. The pumpkin. All right. One, two. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave one of the rows not watered by us for science. It's 
as much as it will hurt. If it, oh, uh, sorry. But my assumption is that every day from now on, it will be watered when we wake up in the morning. That's my guess. But I could be completely off base on that one. Shop price delivery count. Shop slots up. What else was there? Seed maker used in making seeds from crops and flowers. Okay, that's something we would want to get. Eight stone to iron iron bars? I don't see any freaking iron, man. So we would want to get the mine. Yeah. It's a process, but I kind of like the uh, the build the build being a little bit more focused on ooh, fish pickaxe. Using this gives you two random fish when you put it. Interesting. Random alchemy item. I am curious about like the alchemy process as well. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Sorry, I sorry I didn't respect your game. Sprinkler. Oh, it also makes sense. That, yeah, so this didn't... Yeah. That makes sense. Sorry I didn't respect your game, Sprinkler. I should have should have known you came you came to ball. That's on me. That's on me. I, I, I suspected that he'd slack on day one because I didn't see the... Uh, the water. Okay. What is this? Yeah, our, all of our, our animals die. All of our animals that we have. Hmm. No experience gain over here, but... So what is this? How does this... Is it just saying in that creates rocks, coal, and basic ore in that area? Sawmill used for making planks, used for grinding, creates ruby, sapphire, emerald, and diamond ores. Oh. So we unlocked this for g unlocking this zone. There's nothing more in the demo right now, though, for what it's worth. God, this it's, it's just so good. Check my backpack one more time. 49. Oh, literally the lowest possible. 22. 10. Like, we're not really at a rush to sell these, but it's kind of like we don't want the inventory space taken up either. Theoretically. Okay, so you can sort it by, like, how close it is to top percentage. Is that really... I mean, I guess the copper ore is 29. Yeah, I guess that's that's how close it is to the top. That's really nice. There's a lot of really good quality of life stuff. I think we're going to call it here, unfortunately, but it's been an hour, and I have no idea where that hour went. It's really, really good. If you liked that last one, this one's just, like, infinitely better, which is nuts. Man, I think that people are going to... I think this game's going to blow up. I think people are going to really, really like it. It seems like there's a lot to do. Curious to see what kind of, like, the alchemy and stuff is like, what the game will be like when it's out actually out out uh let me check is it gonna be in early access what's it gonna be it doesn't say april 19th so three character classes in the demo with a total of six variants uh next thing is being added save and load alchemy okay so alchemy and cooking is not in yet npcs automation okay new biomes etc etc there's so much coming, and it's already, like, it's already impressive. Hey-ho. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. For another farm roguelike rebirth, it's good. Make sure you check out the demo coming out theoretically today at the time of this video coming out. Thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra special theme, roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you're into, this is a channel you should most definitely be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.